Good afternoon and welcome to the Matt and Alicia Show. So Alicia and I come to you every Friday to talk to you about business, life, and marriage. Yep. So today, we wanted to come to you to talk to you, you know, dig deep. Um, we don't talk about our finances all that much. Because um, I'm afraid to. I'm like afraid to share them. I'm like embarrassed and I feel insecure. And I don't know. He's fine with it. I'm not yeah, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Alicia doesn't. Um, so she's very protective of that part of our lives. But again, we're here to share our lives with you guys. We're here to share the ups, the downs, the, you know, the big win, the successes. Um, also the failures. What did we learn from what happened? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're here to, uh, to talk to you today about. So in the title you can see $65,000. That's the amount of money that we've spent estimated. Um, it's probably a little higher than that over the last 12 months on one thing, one area of our life. Right, Alicia? Yes. So was that uh, extravagant trips? No. Was that a brand new car? No. Okay. Was that um, chocolate? Chocolate. It was all chocolate. That would be. Guys. I, I would love that much chocolate. Sixty-five thousand dollars in chocolate. <laughs> was that a? Was that real estate? No. Was that you know luxury items or something that you know um, you could find at department stores or stuff like that? Nope. So it was none of these things, right? What did we spend this money on, Alicia? Self-improvement. Self-improvement. Yeah. Now, before we get into personal development and self-improvement, you guys know that we're big into that. You guys know, you've seen videos of us talking about that. Now, let's talk the reason why we put the money into self-improvement. Mm -hmm. So that's $65,000 that we put into ourselves, pretty right. much. Right, so let's break that down. That was classes, that was courses, mm -hmm. that was education, yep. that was... You know, All trips to go to seminars that mm -hmm. was, you know, things that we did to up our knowledge, up our understanding, mm -hmm. um, so that we can run better businesses, we can coach people better, we can help clients better, we can build and establish new and better things. Right. So before we get into d diving into what that looks like, what I want to do is just talk about um, the reason behind it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. One of the big things that we do, Alicia, um, and you know, with all the real estate education that I put out there, with all the information that we provide and just give, um, a lot of the stuff we talk about is multifamily real mm -hmm. estate. And that's something that Alicia and I are passionate about, right? Yeah. And so we're passionate about multifamily real estate and people getting into that, making investments into that. Um, however, we coach clients not to do that on small levels. Right. Because that's baby money. Baby money. So basically, it doesn't always pay off to do just a small investment. Mm -hmm. But one investment that will always give you returns is when you invest in yourself. So what we're trying to say is, instead of investing in a small, maybe residential multifamily where you can get a zero down or a low down payment on that, um, what we tell clients is, hey, you can do that. Sure, not a problem. Anybody can do that, right? But if the masses are doing it, is that the best idea to, to follow and do that? Mm -hmm. Or you can change your thinking and say, hey, I'm gonna go save up. I'm gonna go produce enough income. I'm gonna go save up enough money so that I can invest in something with more doors. I can invest with something that's big enough um, that produces cash flow after paying management mm -hmm. expenses and everything else. And so that's what we're trying to do to people. Um, is coach them through that. The only way to do that is to increase their income and help them save at higher rates. Right, so I'm gonna be devil's advocate for a second here. And so why, why would I do that and not just go invest in that first property so that way I can rip, flip it into the next property? Why is that not a good idea? Great question. So that's not the best idea is because it's, you're still on a fixed income. If you're making 60, 70, maybe you're making $120,000 a year, you know? If that's what you're making, well, you're only gonna be making $120,000 a year. Um, and the time that you're supposed to be putting into that job, that career, whatever it is that you're doing to make that 120 is never going to decrease. Does that make sense? No. So <laughs> if I work 40 hours a week to make 120, mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to stop working those 40 hours a week to get that 120, right? Right. So that is my first source of income. It's my job. 
Now with that job, I'm tied to that for a minimum of 40 hours a week. Right. So if I'm gonna go purchase and save up um, and go buy a flip property, that's a second job, right? Yeah, yeah, you have to do maintenance, you have to do mm -hmm. repairs, you have to shovel the driveways, and you gotta You mow gotta, the lawn. most of the time, you're gonna be doing the work yourself, right? Right, because with if you only have two doors or three doors, oftentimes you don't have enough margin to pay another company to do it. So it's you on your weekends, on your holidays, fixing up your, your and, property. <laughs> yep, and so yeah. that's what she's talking about for flips and you're talking management on, of you know small property. multifamily properties. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're buying yourself a second job. So when you buy yourself a second job and you become the manager, it's not necessarily a true investment. Yes, you might make some money mm -hmm. on the sale of it if you keep it long enough. Um, if there's any amount of appreciation in there, but the things that you're not considering is the expenses, the time. Are you paying yourself for the time that you're spending on managing that property? So what we teach people is don't worry about that second job. Don't worry about that in, um, uh, that flip or the residential multifamily. What we should focus on is, hey, how can we take those 40 hours per week mm -hmm. and how can we make you more money during that time? Right. And so what can we do to increase that income? Um, do you have a vehicle that you're in, a career that you're in that allows you to do that? Is it commission based? Is it, if it's not, well, how do I go get the next promotion? How do I prove my worth to my employer? Um, is there something else I could do on the side to take up that extra time as a second job that pays you way more and better than say that property or that flip, right? Yeah. So that's what we do. We coach people to get through that and better themselves. So that's investing in yourself first mm -hmm. so that you can increase your income and therefore invest in properties that has professional management in place. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, and that's not gonna take your time, your energy, and everything that a flip or a small residential property would, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why we uh, put so much time, energy, and money into personal development. Yeah. Is because investing in yourself is gonna pay dividends later on in life. You're gonna be able to increase your knowledge, your understanding, going to be able to create new ideas, new ways of thinking, new new revenue streams, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a different vertical for your business that you can apply because you went to some course or class or networked with somebody, right? Right. So let's take a step back for a mm -hmm. second. So at the beginning of the year, we weren't like, we were going to spend this much money on this particular item. Yep. And a lot of cases, I will admit, that we didn't think we could afford those things. Like we were like, we were scraping by to do certain development things, but by doing those, it raised our necessity level. Yeah. So that way we had to make that money and we had to make more of it so we could pay for it. And exactly. It's, it's like this cycle of like, uh, whatever you put in to, to invest into yourself comes back out if you do it right, if you put in the work. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's no, no more sure thing out there. Uh, does that a word? Sure. Sure. There's no more <laughs> sure thing out there than yourself. And that's the way I look at it. If you can't bet on yourself, what can you bet on? Mm -hmm. And so I know that if I go put the time and energy into growing myself, Alicia growing herself, the company growing itself through education, through networking, um, through new knowledge, through different verticals, whatever it is, um, I know that that's gonna pay way more than you know 10% on a $200,000 investment that I make. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're coming to you to talk to you about is that the importance of personal development, whatever that may look like for you, your career, your life, where you're at, you should put a huge importance on that. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to that, Alicia? No. I know I did a lot of talking here. Okay, well thank you so much for joining us today. And again, personal development. Make sure that is a top priority for you.